You already know what's up with me. I'm listening to one thing. I always say I'm listening to one thing, though. I said it a lot, though. But I'm listening to one thing. Well, I'm finna start. I'm gonna change that up. I'm gonna change it up, and I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna tell you another damn thing. I'm gonna tell you another thing. But the most important, the most important relationship you need to have is not with your husband or your wife or none of that. It's with God and your kids. See, life is short, and after you gone, your kids gonna still be here. Your life is their survivor guide. Everything you do, they see you, they watch you, they're going to do the same damn thing. Whatever they grow up to learn, that's what they're going to do. And guess what? They're around you. There's nothing more important on this planet than your kids. You know what I'm saying? If you're in a relationship, that's cool. But what I'm saying about the relationships and stuff like that, the relationship got to be focused on the kids too because the kids looking at the relationship. The kids looking at everything that you got going on in your life. If you arguing or some shit like that, the kids see that. If you treat your woman or your husband with respect and love and authority, well, not authority, but I'm just saying authority over the household and stuff like that, how you like to take control, you like to put in order in the house and stuff like that, you like to pay your bills, you want to be responsible, they watching everything that you do and everything that you do is their survivor guy because they want to be like you. You raising them, they depending on you. And if they're depending on you, they're going to owe their life to you. And they're going to watch what you do as you grow. As they grow older, they're looking at everything that you do. And you can tell, like, misguided children and stuff like that, you can tell that they ain't raised at home because everything starts from home. If they've been neglected from home, they learn it from somewhere else. They got to talk to somebody. And if they ain't learn from you, who the hell are they talking to? You can't do it without God because at the end of the day, everybody want to leave their kids money. Everybody want to leave their kids treasures like toys and cars and houses and stuff. But if you don't give them no spiritual guidance, if you don't put the Lord in their life, you don't put God in their life, you don't put Jesus in their life at the end of the day, y'all whole relationship, their relationship with this world is lost. They stuck. Everything that they're trying to succeed, it ain't gonna, they ain't going to make it that far. They ain't going to make it too far. You can't do nothing with that God. At the end of the day, God gave you the child. And God blessed you to be in charge of that child. Anyway, he trusts you. He trusts you to raise that child. That's why that child is yours. That's why you gave birth to that child. That's why you are the mother. That's why you are the father. You are trusted to raise that child by God. Everybody get disappointed. Everybody get upset and pissed off at kids. I'm like, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they can get on your goddamn nerves. But at the end of the day, what you gotta understand, they still children. They're just trying to learn. They're trying to learn. And how you learn shit is when you get in trouble. When you learn not to do and what, what to do and what not to do. And that's why kids be so damn bad. You gotta love kids. Kids are a beautiful thing. Kids that raise you. As you raising the child, the child raises you. You know what I mean? Because it's teaching you how to be a parent and an adult. It's teaching you more responsibility. Because you have to do, you're going to have to take care of that kid. And then once you find that, once you look into that kid's eyes and you know that kid is a part of you and you know that that kid is dependent on you, when that child is born, is looking at you like, why am I here? What? I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do while I'm here? I'm lost. I'm here. I'm, the child is just here. It's up to you. No matter how old that child gets, they're going to always be your baby. No matter how old you are, your mother or your father, you always going to be that baby. And at the end of the day, everybody grows up, but it's who teaches them, who, who you bring in their life, who you teach, who you teaching and what you teaching them about their life, what do, what they need to know. They didn't need to know about finances and credit. They, do, they need to know about all that. They need to know about, you know what I'm saying, how hard life is. They need to know, you know, the ups and the downs and, you know what I mean, the, the storms. They need to know the sunshine, but they need to know God. If a child don't know God, a child don't, a child don't know nothing. The most important thing you can do why you putting God in their life is spend more time with them. Let them know that they love. Let them know that they care for. Because a child will never forget nothing. A child always going to remember. You remember things that happened to you when you was a kid. You know what I mean? Or you remember like, a, like say if you had a bully in high school. Or say if like you remember some shit in high school or something. You know what I'm saying? Or it can be a good time. It don't matter. I ain't, it, it ain't about you know traumatic experiences and stuff. But I'm just saying. Children don't forget nothing. They see stuff and they have feelings too. And then they, they knew. And they trying to experience what's going on in this world. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, the most important relationship you can have is with your child. Like if you're married or if you're in a relationship, y'all need to have a relationship and showing that child how to do it. How to, you know what I'm saying? How to have a proper relationship. How to, you know what I'm saying? How to conduct like grown men and women because that child looking like, I want to be like them. Well, why are they doing that? You know, explain to children about, you know what I'm saying? About how they're supposed to live and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, that child is looking at you. And that child, when, when that child grow up, it's going to do everything, he or she is going to do everything that they taught. You know what I mean? I, I don't mean to say it, I'm just saying, he or she going to do everything that they taught. And it can be the internet, it can be social, and social media, you know, like saying, social media, TV, everything is raising children but the parents. And that's why, you know, the generation is like that. 
at the end of the day. That's why everybody should love your kids unconditionally. Have That's the best relationship you can have. I ain't saying you can't have no other relationship, but at the end of the day, keep your children involved in your life and love them unconditionally and accordingly because God trusts you to raise that child. And if he trusts you to raise that child, go ahead and do right by them children. Because them children, they're just, trying to, they're just trying to learn. They're just trying to learn. They're just trying to love. They don't know what to love, who to love, or how to love. And they need to be raised properly. Love, peace, and hair grease. If I don't see you on YouTube, baby, I'll see you in the street. Oh!